the Joe Rogan experience. I went down a pathway with Queen's Gambit where I was like, is this a true story? Because if this is true that there was this beautiful, young, flawed woman, that's very interesting to me. It's not a true story. I, there's a lot of people on the internet who think that it is a true story. Uh, it's based off a book, but chess sales are through the roof. You couldn't get a chess board when that thing came out. Really? Yeah. Isn't that wow. hilarious? Like, like chess sales were going crazy, which... Chess is a beautiful sport, and um, much like long-form conversation we have here, a long-form game. Yes. I mean, months yeah. you could really play. They, they, they get into speed chess in that, um, yeah. in that show, but you can play chess forever, man. Yeah, I'm scared of chess. I'm terrible yeah. at chess, and I don't want to get good at it because uh, I think it's something that I would get absorbed with. I remember there was a time where Howard Stern got obsessed with chess, and he was Did taking he? chess lessons when he was talking about oh, it on the shit. show. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I remember thinking, oh, he's an obsessive. Like he'll he'll he, and right, event, I right. think he eventually bailed and stopped stopped doing it. But um, I've had problems with video games. I've had problems with pool. I used to play pool competitively, and I get no I get real obsessed with games. And chess seems to be like the most intense it's, of all intellectual games. It's gonna trigger the shit out of your intellectual. What what kind oh. of billiards would you play? Like nine ball? Like, yeah, nine yeah, ball, not, ten ball, straight pool. I played a lot of all those games, but I played a lot of pool, a lot. I played a lot of tournaments. Yeah, to the point where um, I have I have a table in my old studio. Okay. I have a table at home. Um, I collect pool cues. I have a bunch of pool cues. Pool cues are fucking cool. Oh yeah, especially when they unscrew and you take mm -hmm. you get the fucking briefcase and you know <laughs> uh, the color of money. The color of money is What's just in the case in here. Yeah. Doom. <laughs> it's fucking yeah. love, that is such a good movie. My brother Todd got obsessed with pool, and we had a pool table in our basement, but it was like classic Midwest basement, and that it couldn't, it wasn't fully unobstructed, so we had this. We had this like weight bearing pole right oh, here. So, yeah, so if, you, if you ever had to go like in the in the uh, the middle, you know, you had to do all this creative shit. Short stick. We sawed one down. Yeah. But Todd got really into pool. My dad took us to the nine ball championships one year down in like West Virginia, and we're like, you know, these guys are like excellent at pool. I mean, they'll yeah. run racks after racks, and it was like wild how the brain uh, is not how my brain works but my brother's brain would go like one ball there two ball there is going to move it off here and that's like geometry chess it's all like that yeah it is and it's also finesse and touch yeah. and feel yeah and uh, great sounds and yeah pool, huh? it's also a sport that thrives on drugs Really? Yeah. Like the, an Adderall type si yeah, situation? Yeah, because yeah. they, they, they would gamble and they would play for yeah. you hours. Know, 15, 16 hours. <laughs> the thing about pool is that they would play until someone quit. And so uh, guys- That like, was like the gentleman's rule? Yeah, you would never quit on somebody when you were ahead. Right. So like if you if you quit on someone when you were ahead, people would be mad at you. Right. And they didn't, like if you played like for two hours and you won like $1,000 and you're like, right. uh, we'll play again tomorrow. They'd be like, fuck you, right. stay. And people would get mad at you. They would really get upset, and you would have a hard time getting a game because right. you'd be a guy. That so you quits have to while you're wipe up. out your opponent until they say, "I can't do this anymore." Yeah, it's like a, it's like to the death. <laughs> to the death. Yeah, it's a like, like amongst top players, unless there was an agreement. Like you could make an agreement. Yeah. And you could make an agreement. We will play two sets. I'll play you two right. sets. Right. Race to twenty. Right. For X amount of dollars per set, but we're gonna make an agreement right now of two sets. Right. That's rare though. Right. Most of the time they would post up and they would play until guys went broke. Like the hustler. Yeah. The hustler with Jackie Gleason and Paul Newman, that was the theme of the movie, is that Paul Newman's winning for like 15, 16 right. hours. Right. And then Jackie Gleason has character and Paul Newman is self destructive and eventually Jackie Gleason overcomes him and I wins don't know if I've match. ever seen The Hustler, but oh, obviously that that's great. is helped. Paul Newman get cast in Color of Money. Oh, that well, was like for sure. For sure. I mean, that was the it was, that was based the original. on Color of Money. Yeah, okay, that's that's what Fat, I was sure. The Color of Money was the sequel. Okay, it was. I the, didn't realize the, that. Yeah, they were both written by I think Walter Tevis is the guy who wrote it. Um, but I've read the books too; they're pretty similar. Um, the, the the character in the second movie is different. Like, there's a lot of things in the yeah. in, in the Color of yeah. Money. They're different. They made for Tom Cruise, and but in the Hustler. Paul Newman uh, retires because, like, he's he makes a deal with this mob guy, okay. and at the end of it, he quits playing, and okay. 
So he's he's retired from pool, and then he meets Tom Cruise many decades later. I see. So the okay. hustlers takes the hustler takes place, I think, in I want to say sixty three. Okay, somewhere around then. That's when that movie came out. And so, Color of Money is like nineteen eighty four. I or something fucking like that. loved Color of Money. It's when great. It came out. That that made pool go through the roof. People started playing pool like crazy, and people of pool people of the pool world have always said they need a movie. Like the right. color of money, right? And they you know, like pool hall junkies. Some people liked, but yep. it never really had the same impact. It wasn't that good. It was okay. Like some people liked it, but th they couldn't really play. Right? Like you could if a person who plays pool. Like I watched it, it would be very frustrating for me because like if you were watching someone play tennis, dude, it's it fucking infuriates me. Any commercial with tennis, they're holding <laughs> the racket wrong. Yeah. It's like, yes. just get anyone that plays tennis yeah. to quickly advise you on the right grip. And now I'm like, but all I can focus on is that. And I believe Color of Money, I, I, I remember reading about it that they like locked Tom Cruise yes. in, a, in a room for three months and taught him how to shoot well, because his grip Tom and everything. Tom Cruise worked with Mike Siegel. Okay. And Mike Siegel is one of the greatest pool players that's ever lived. Right. Multiple time world champion. Like literally one of the all-time greats. I've had the opportunity to play Mike Siegel. I Whoa. played him. I hung out with him. He's a great guy. Um, and he was also left-handed, just like Tom. And Tom Cruise is left-handed. Yeah, and he taught Tom Cruise. And Tom Cruise looks like a guy who can play a little. Paul Newman in The Hustler yeah. does not really look like a guy who can uh, play. He does a lot of goofy shit. Right, but Jackie right. Gleason could play. Could play. Jackie Gleason literally plays like a professional. You watch Jackie Gleason in The Hustler. Like he spent a lot of time playing pool when he was a kid. Like look, Jackie Gleason was a guy who drank and smoked yeah. and hung yeah. out in pool halls. Yeah. He was a man's man. He yeah. was a he was a you know a wild dude. Yeah. yeah. And he could fucking play like really play. How did you get introduced to pool? I hurt my ACL. Okay. I tore uh, my ACL ligament and I couldn't work out for a while. And uh, when I couldn't work out, me and my friend John, start, he was a comic as well, we started going to this pool hall in White Plains, New York. And uh, I just stumbled upon one of the great pool halls in that area. Wow. It's one of the reasons why I moved to New Rochelle, because I could be close to White Plains. Oh, my God. Because I was addicted to this pool. People pool get shit. fucking addicted to mm, pool. Yeah. That's how my brother was, it's a great dude. Game. What does this say? Yeah, the video game Doom got its name from the film. Yeah, the video game Doom got its name from Tom Cruise opening up that uh, because they I wanted. I know that. Yeah, because when he opened up the case and he goes, "What's in the case?" He goes, oh "In my here." God, Doom. Doom. I remember yeah. that with his dumb accent. Yes, he they, was. He was excellent in that film. That's what John. Doom. <laughs> yeah, that's what they wanted to. Uh, John Carmack wanted to say to the video game world uh, when they when they release doom what's in there doom doom is in like, there because this game is so crazy it's in comparison to everything else yeah so that's where i came up with that's oh. where i came up with the name yeah it's something like the the uh, i forget the character's name in queen queen's gambit but when she kind of lays in bed and looks up and, yes. and watches the world you kind of see like pool players look at the at the um table that way to debt to debt yeah. this goes here to debt to debt and, uh, but there's with pool there's execution, right? The difference true, is true. you could miss a shot where you're in perfect position. True. Whereas with chess, you just move the thing. You don't yeah. have to think about your physical hand-eye yeah. coordination and skill. So nerves don't play a factor yeah. as much yeah. in terms of your ability to move your body. So with pool, the thing that excited me about it was it was about controlling yourself under pressure and you're literally applying a certain amount of pressure to a ball and you want to control the revolutions yeah. that the ball makes over a long period so it's all touch and feel yeah. and the more you play the more and you get in what they call dead punch or dead stroke where you understand exactly how right. much impact and ex exactly how hard to touch that cue exactly how much how much impact it has yeah. on the ball to yeah. just perfectly place that ball in position for the next shot. It is, uh, it's a great game. My brother had a book called How to Hustle Your Friends at Pool and used to read it. And uh, we'd have friends come over and they would always get mad that he was reading the book, but but he loved it. It's a great gambling sport. Yeah, it's great. Well, it's a game where people get mad if you pretend you're not good. Right. <laughs> and it turns out you are good. Yeah. It's but isn't also, that what the hustle is? Yes. It's, yeah, right. But what's interesting about it is it's also a game where people lie about how good they are. Right. Like men always want to pretend they're really good at pool. It's a weird thing. Yeah. Like if guys don't know you play, like I play 
pretty good. Like I'm a B player, yeah. which means like I'm not a pro, but if I practice for six months and really dedicated myself, you'd be excellent. I can run racks. Yeah. I've, I've yeah. run out three, four racks in a row. I can play a little. Yeah. And if I played a lot, I could, I could, I could play on a very high level, but most people can't. Like I played for years, eight hours a day. I played every day. Right. I always played. Right. I, I took a cue on the road with me everywhere I went. Man. When I when I would go on the road and do do gigs, I'd find pool halls and I'd play in pool all night long. That's great. That's what I always did. Most men lie. Like you, they tell you, like you say, uh, do you play pool? Oh yeah. Are you good? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Like yeah. oh, are you really? <laughs> like how good are you? Oh, I'm good. I always be beat my friends. Pretty good. And you're like, do, are you really good? Like have you ever played in tournaments? They'll lie. And then you play them, and they suck. They suck. You're Golf like, is like this. Uh, what do you shoot? I shoot about 100. You go out there, and you're like, you fucking lie. <laughs> or you cheat. Everybody yeah. cheats at golf. Everybody gets so surprised when they ask me if I'm good at golf, and I say, I'm okay. And they say, what do you shoot? And I say, 110. They go, no, there's no chance. I get out there, and you really count my strokes, and the time that I moved the ball, and the time that it like, followed the rules, I shot a 110. But everybody lies. Is that a good number? No. 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 What, do you, what, what? What's a good number? <laughs> Par is 72, but I guarantee yeah. you he's going to say he shoots in the 90s, no, and when no. we go out there and we actually play, he's going to shoot like 125, like a typical no, house. No, not that, Yeah, I'm but like 90-ish is probably a good number. Yeah, you know? 90 is yeah. a good number. I could get there, but... but You would need a lot of time. You need some time, yeah. and, and and you don't cheat, but right. everybody lies. Yeah, it's fun. It's true. People lie about... But dude, the worst, if you're a single guy trying to like... Pick up girls and you got to play pool with them, and they're yeah. fucking like garbage. They beat you. Oh, well, they, they, beat beat you. you. they beat you. <laughs> if a girl beats you at pool, good luck getting laid. Good luck. They don't yeah. want to fuck you if no. they could beat you at pool. Everyone knows that. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.